I'm onto the tiling. I probably won't film any of this. My battery has 10 or maybe 12% left, which isn't great. But you can see I've set up the laser. I've lined up this grout line with that first cut and I've got the same spaced, same thickness of spaces. So when I then move this over to here, right, that there lines up quite nicely. Nice enough, so that's good. Now, once that, now what I can do is start tiling down onto the wall, on the wall here, onto the shower tray. I'll try and catch it before the light runs out, but as I say, my battery is almost dead. Right, my battery died on me yesterday, and it got too dark. So I'm back the next day. It's Sunday, and I am determined to get this finished. But I just wanted to show you something. I'm doing these tiles and I've got my spirit level that I'm using to make sure that I am nice and level with them to the tiles above. But then it occurred to me, oh, let me just check the rest of the wall. And I just want to show you just how out this wall is. So you can see those ones are fine, but then there's a big old gap there, touching gap. Gap, 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 all the way down until it's touching again just by the level. So these walls are not, you know, I didn't do this, so I don't know who did this or when it was done, but I don't know that it's possible really to get tiles kind of perfectly, perfectly flat. Maybe it is. If you're a pro tiler, please let me know. I, I really don't enjoy tiling and I don't profess to be any good at it frankly so uh, this is uh, a labor of love but anyway uh, I'm not, not complaining and I'm gonna get this done I'm gonna get this done I'm determined <laughs> I'll set you up in a time-lapse and uh, yeah we'll crack on As I've mentioned a couple of times, I am not a tiler. I'm a DIYer. He's probably gone a bit overboard, but I am quite pleased with this. Nice and tight the whole way down. So that's that's kind of what I'm working towards. Right, I have cut down all of my little tiles, and then it's just four full ones in here. So I've made all my cuts using the laser level tape measure and marking it all up. Now I'm just going to quickly stick you back on the time lapse and then use the adhesive and stick them all on.
past four. And that's all finished now. Obviously still need to do the grouting, but that was fine. Wix came to the rescue again. I don't know if anyone from Wix is watching, but I love you guys. And if you want to sponsor me, I'm all ears. The bottom three tiles in the box were cracked and I only needed one of them, but uh, they were cracked. And so I didn't have any of them. So I ran in the, well, I drove in the car safely and responsibly. And I got there five minutes before closing. They let me in and they had the tile that I needed. So I picked up a few spares, Wix to the rescue again. So thank you, Wix. All of these are nice and level again. Don't know how easy it is for you to see that down there. But that's pretty good, so happy with that. Gonna have a really good tidy up now. Clear away my tools. I need to put the shower screen on, but again, I can't really do a shower screen until the grouting is done. So we may have to pause here and then sort the grouting and the screen after. I am back now three days later, so it's Wednesday evening and these have all set up really nicely, nice and firm, no movement, no squelch or anything when you press on them. So I will remove all of these little bits and tidy up and then I'm going to start grouting. I've got some plain white grout with me so I'll be able to run that in with, uh, with one of these. I won't be doing any grout around the bottom, that will get taken care of with white silicon. Then it's a case of putting the shower screen on. Once I've done the shower screen I need to put a kind of connecting bar that holds it between the wall and here. And that is pretty much it. So I'm just going around with a blade and just taking off any tiny little bits of adhesive that may have spilled out and got stuck on the face of the tiles just to really kind of freshen them up I'll go over it all with a wet sponge afterwards as well but I find that doing this just means that when I grout it's just a little bit cleaner and easier so that's that the whole way around just like that just making sure that they're nice and nice and neat and now what I can do is I can head round with the grout. Head round with the grout and get the uh, get the bits in between all filled in. That is all of the grouting done. Obviously down here we're going to be going round with white silicon, so that's not done yet but all the rest of it's come out really nicely. There's still a little bit of silicon up on the top of the wall here from where the bath was siliconed in. So I'm, I'm gonna leave that, once it's, once the grout has set, I'll then clean up those little edges. You can see a few of those little bits up there. But the rest of it is looking very neat, very tidy, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna get a little bit of silicon in just down here. I grouted that bit first, so it's taken about 40, 45 minutes to get it all done and wiped up and everything. So I'll be able to get some silicon in there and then I can get the shower screen on. Right, so I've managed to progress quite a, li quite a bit. I've got this screen on nice and sturdy. It's fixed up here and it's mechanically fixed to the wall there. I've put a bead of silicon on the outside all the way down. I haven't put one on the inside. And you do that deliberately because if you put one on the inside and the outside, any water that does accidentally end up in there will just be trapped. The idea is to stop water coming out. So you just leave it unsiliconed on the inside. Any water that does hit will just run down and run back in. So I'm going to do a bead of clear silicon along the bottom of this one here. What I've got to do first is there is this extended flipper screen, which I'm going to be adding on now that just sits and clips on here. So I'm just going to add that on. Sorry, I'm not doing any of this on time lapse. I haven't got the tripod with me. Seven o'clock in the evening. I'm just trying to get this done as quick as I can now for the client. <laughs> 